சாய் பாபா மகா பாராயணா சாய் சத்சரிதா சாப்டர் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் கிரேட்னஸ் ஆஃப் உதி டாக்டர்ஸ் நெவ்யூ டாக்டர் பில்லே பில்லே ஷியாமா சிஸ்டர் இன் லா இரானி கேர்ள் ஹர்தா ஜென்டில்மேன் மும்பை லேடி திஸ் சாப்டர் கண்டினியூஸ் த சப்ஜெக்ட் கிரேட்னஸ் ஆஃப் உதி அண்ட் டிஸ்கிரைப்ஸ் கேசஸ் இன் விச் த அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் உதி வாஸ் மோஸ்ட் எஃபிகேஷியஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் நெவ்யூ இன் மெல்கான் டிஸ்ட்ரிக் நாசிக் there lived a doctor his nephew suffered from an incurable disease tubercular bone abscess the doctor along with his relatives and other medical practitioners tried all sorts of remedies and even surgery there was no relief and no end to the little boy's suffering friends and relatives advised the parents of the boy to seek divine aid and recommended them to go to sai baba who was known to have cured such incurable cases by his mere glance the parents therefore came to shiradi they prostrated themselves before baba placed the boy before him and pleaded humbly and implored him to save their son the merciful the merciful baba comforted them saying those who resort to this masjid shall never suffer anything in this life to the end of time now do not worry apply the udi on the abscess and within a week he will recover believe in god this is no masjid but dwaraka mai he who steps here will soon get health and happiness and his sufferings will come to an end the boy who was made to sit before baba who moved his hands on the affected part and cast his loving glances on him the patient was pleased and with the application of udi he began to recover and was all right after some days The parents then left Shiradi with their son thanking Baba for the cure which was effected by Udi and Baba's gracious looks after knowing this the doctor the uncle of the boy became wonderstruck and desired to see Baba while he was on his way to Mumbai for some business at Melgon and Manmad some someone spoke to him against Baba and poisoned his ears therefore he dropped the idea of visiting Shiradi and went to Mumbai direct He wanted to spend the rest of his leave at Alibag but at Mumbai he heard for three consecutive successive nights a voice still you disbelieve me then the doctor changed his mind and resolved to go to Shiradi he had to attend a case of uh, infectious fever in Mumbai which showed no signs of quick abatement so he thought that his Shiradi trip would be postponed he however proposed a test in his mind and said that If the patient gets all right by today I will start for Shiradi tomorrow the wonder is that exactly from the time when the determination was done the fever began to abate and the temperature became normal then he went to Shiradi as per his determination took baba's darshan and prostrated himself before him baba gave him such experiences that he became his devotee he stayed there for 4 days and returned home with baba's udi and blessings Within a fortnight he was transferred on promotion to Bijapur his nephew's case gave him an opportunity for seeing baba and this visit garnered in him a never failing love for the saint's feet dr pille one dr pille was an intimate devotee of baba he was much liked by baba who always called him bua brother Baba talked to him off and on and consulted him in all matters and wanted him always at his side. This Pille suffered once very badly from guinea worms. He said to the Kaka Sahib Dikshit, "The pain is most excru- excruciating and unbearable. I prefer death to it. This pain I know is for repaying past karma, but go to Baba and tell him to cease the pain and transfer the balance of my past karma to 10 future births of mine." Mr Dikshit went to Baba and told him his request then Baba being moved by his request said to Dikshit tell him to be fearless why should he suffer for 10 births in 10 days he can work out the sufferings and consequences of his past karma while i am here to give him temporal and spiritual welfare why should he pray for death bring him here on somebody's back and let us work and finish his sufferings once for all The doctor was brought in that condition and was seated on Baba's right side. Baba gave him his bolster and said, "Lie down calmly here and be at ease. The true remedy is that the result of the past action has to be suffered and got over. Our kam- karma is the cause of our happiness and sorrow. Therefore, put up with whatever comes to you. 
Allah God is the sole dispenser and protector. Think of Him always. He will take care of you. Surrender to Him with body, mind and speech and then see what He does. Dr. Pillay said that Nana Sahib had put a bandage over the leg but he had no relief. Nana is a fool, replied Baba. Take off the bandage or else you will die. Now a crow will come and peck at you and then you will recover. While this conversation was going on, Abdul was cleaning, always cleaned the masjid and trimmed the lamps turned up. While he was attending to his work, his foot accidentally fell upon the stretched leg of Dr. Pillay. The leg was already swollen and when Abdul's foot fell upon it and pressed it, all the seven guinea worms were squeezed out at once. The pain was unbearable and Dr. Pillay cried out loudly. After some time, he calmed down and began to sing and cry alternatively. Then Pillay inquired when the crow was coming and pecking. Baba said, Did you not see the crow? He won't come again. Abdul was the crow. Now go and rest in the vada and you will soon be alright. By the application of Udi and by taking it orally with water, without taking any other treatment or medicine, the disease was completely cured in 10 days as assured by Baba. Shyama's sister-in-law Shyama's younger brother Bapaji was staying near the Savali well once his wife was attacked with bubonic plague. She had high fever and two bubos in her groins. Babaji rushed to Shyama at Shiradi and asked him to come and help. Shyama was frightened but according to his wont custom, he went to Baba, prostrated himself before him to invoke his aid by requesting him to cure the disease, the case. He also asked his permission to go to his brother's house. Then Baba said, Don't go there at this late hour. Send her the Udi. Why care for the fever and bubos? God is our father. She will be alright easily. Do not go now. Go there in the morning and return immediately. Shama had full faith in Baba's Udi. It was sent with Bapaji. It was applied on the bubos and some of it was mixed with water given to the patient to drink. No sooner was it taken in, perspiration set in profusely. The fever abated and the patient had sound sleep. Next morning, Bapaji was surprised to see his wife all right with no fever and no bubos. When Shama went there next morning with Baba's permission, he was also surprised to see her in the kitchen preparing tea. On questioning his brother, he learned that Baba's Udi completely had cured her in one night. Then Shama realized the significance of Baba's words. Go there in the morning and return immediately. After taking tea, Shama returned and after saluting Baba said, Deva, what is the play of yours? You first raise a storm and make us restless and then calm it down and comfort us. Baba replied, You see, mysterious is the path of action. Though I do nothing, they hold me responsible for the actions which take place on account of pra- prarabd, that is destiny. I am only their witness. The, wor- the Lord is the sole doer and inspirer. He is most merciful. Neither I am God nor master. I am his obedient servant and remember him constantly. He who casts aside his egoism and thanks him and he who trusts him entirely will have his shackles removed and will obtain liberation. Irani's daughter. Now read the experience of an Irani gentleman. His young daughter got fits every hour. When the convolution came, she lost her power of speech. Her limbs contorted and she fell down senseless. No remedy gave her any relief. Some friend recommended Baba Zudi to her father and asked him to get it from Kaka Sahib Dikshit at Vile Parle. And then the Iranian gentleman got the Udi and gave it mixed with water to his daughter daily for drinking. In the beginning, the convolutions which were coming hourly came every 7 hours and after a few days, the the daughter recovered completely. Harda gentleman An old gentleman of Harda was suffering from a stone in his kidney. Such stones are generally removed by surgical operations and people recommended him to undergo one. He was old and weak, lacked strength of mind and could not think of submitting himself to surgical treatment. His suffering was soon to end in another way. The Inamdar city officer of that town 
happened to come there at that time. He was a devotee of Baba and had always a stock of woody with him. On the recommendation of friends, his son got some woody from him and after mixing it with water, gave it to his old father to drink. Within five minutes, of the woody was assimilated. The stone was dissolved and came out through his urine, and the old man was soon relieved. Mumbai Lady, a woman of the Kayastha Prabhu caste in Mumbai, always suffered terrible pain at her delivery. She was very much frightened each time she became pregnant and did not know what to do. Sri Ramamurthy of Kalyan, who was a devotee of Baba, advised her husband to take her to Shiradi. When she next became pregnant, both husband and wife came to Shiradi, stayed there for some months and worshipped Baba. After some time, the hour of delivery came and as usual, there was obstruction in the passage from the womb. She began to suffer labour uh, pains, did not know what to do, but began to pray to Baba for relief. In the meantime, some neighbouring women turned up and after invoking Baba's aid, gave her Udi mixture to drink. In five minutes, the women delivered safely and painlessly. The issue was still born according to its fate, but the mother who got rid of the anxiety and pain thanked Baba for the safe delivery and ever remained grateful to him. Bow to Sri Sai, peace be to all. Om Sri Sai Ram.